Richard Pengerton from Nuts Corner and uh, I'm milking just over 200 cows here in the autumn calving system. We really started to think more about zero grazing. We had a couple of wet summers and we just couldn't cope. And the cows went out and they were doing damage. We brought them in. Then you were switching them from one dad to another, which cows like consistency. And then it meant some fields were grazed and then some fields weren't. And it was just a nightmare then the rest of the season to get that back in the kilter, even when it did dry up. We just made the decision we are going to have to try and do things differently to sit our farm. A few years ago I built new feed space with zero grazing in mind. After I built the shed, I have my own silage wagon for making my own silage, so I was just using that to zero graze a bit, which worked fine, but it's quite a large wagon, it's quite heavy, and uh, just when conditions were tricky, it wasn't, you know, wasn't just a machine for the job, and also found you're using it every day for zero grazing, and then when you wanted to do your silage, it wasn't ready, and it was wet grass and around and stuff, but just wasn't ideal, so I decided to go ahead and get a zero grazer this year. When the zero grazer came, I cut them four kilos a meal and they were up a bit a litre as well, so it was, a, it was a big turnaround. So it was at the minute there, they're, the days of milk are very high. They're probably averaging about 270 days in milk and they're only doing about 17 litres, but they're only getting a kilo a meal really, is what they're averaging. So that must be 15 litres or more from, from grass, you know, end of August, which I'm happy enough about. I've been zero grazing for about three years now, but now that I've got a proper zero grazer for the job, I think I'll be able to get more out of it. I'll get a longer season because it's later and uh, it'll just be modern now. Uh, starting a wee bit earlier in the spring and trying to get a wee bit later in the autumn and make the most out of the machine. With the wagon, I was cutting my front mower, so uh, the biggest tractor in the yard I had to use. Whereas now I'm using one of my smallest tractors, 90 horsepower, and it's working fine, so it is. I am fine with a zero grazer, the grass doesn't get bruised the same and I think it keeps longer and uh, even when you put it out of it, it's easier to push up, it's not pushed into lumps or balls and uh, it's lighter in the ground too and it's, it's more compact, it's easier getting out of places and you can nearly send anybody to go and cut a, cut a bit of grass. At the weekend there it was really heavy rain when I had to go out and cut the grass and it seemed to cope fine, I was able to cut the grass and get it lifted even with it being wet. So. I don't really have any worries about the, it being able to work in different conditions and I just went for the biggest wheels you could get and hopefully that will keep me up. Zero grazing is working for me at the minute, I'm happy with it. I suppose it depends on your own farm and your own situation, you know, but definitely you can get a lot of grass into cows and cut your meal bag, you know, it's, it's what we're all trying to do I suppose.